So I really have to say that I've hit the jackpot on eBay recently. I got a lot containing, as you can tell by the title, some ultra rare items. And I called it jackpot because if I got one or two of these items, I'd not really consider it a jackpot, but it's the quantity of these items that I got that is really making it one. So let's get right to it. Got this massive box right here. And I've already opened it up. So let's take out the individual items. All right, so this might look like your average Erdl Toby, but if you look at it more closely, you can see that it's not Erdl at all. First of all, it's entirely made out of plastic. Coupling system is a bit different. Face is different, top is different, because this is from a brand, a very short-lived brand, from about 2004 to 2006 called D'Agostini, which was basically a magazine series consisting of magazines like this one right here. And it included a character, a piece of track, and a sticker sheet. And if you've never heard of this brand, you know, I'm not surprised at all. Because the only way I knew about it was researching it on the wiki. I never saw it in stores or anything. And coming across this stuff on eBay is extremely rare. Like, you can barely search for this because no one's going to list it as D'Agostini. I've only found it uh, three times. Once when I was looking it up purposefully by searching Thomas Plastic Toys, and then the second time was accidental, and the third time was also accidental. And then the second and third times, I just came across it completely coincidentally. And the second time, I was able to get my hands on a bunch of items that are all new in their packaging. I got... Let's see if it will focus. Oh, it's focusing on James's face back there. Ah, right, yes. Duke, Oliver, Duck, a milk tanker, a troublesome truck, a tar tanker, Sir Top of Matt's car, which is the one that I use in my series, my Wooden Railway series, and Sir Topham Hat himself, along with a bunch of the track, which is not the best track for running anything on. Very awkward and bumpy. But like I said, all new in the packaging and just came in a bag with the magazines and the sticker sheets. But back then, I really thought that I hit the jackpot. But until I came across this lot, I was mistaken. So first of all, we have, of course, Toby. But let's see what else is in here. We have Duncan. Yeah, Duncan. Duncan was one that I was wanting to be getting for a while because I like how they did his steam pipes in the front. I mean, that is actually it's actually great attention to detail, and the fact that they made them almost separate pieces from the smoke box is not something that I would expect. I would expect them to do something along the lines of um, making it more flush with the body. But as you can see, it's got stickers on the windows, just a flat plastic piece for the side rods. Very simplistic, 
But you know, it gets the point across. And I like it. It's you know, pretty good face. Color's pretty good. Uh, I can barely see the wheels. You know, I wonder how... <laughs> you know what, I, I, I actually did see on Twitter somebody posting a picture of, of this Duncan saying I think that uh, this is probably what the Bachman Duncan will look like and I thought that was that was funny because uh, first of all somebody actually knows about this brand and second of all uh, that they think that's this might be what Bachman Duncan might look like which may, maybe maybe it will but I'd like to to hear uh, people's opinions about how what they think of this Duncan shape because uh, there's a lot of controversy over what shape uh, people prefer on Duncan, so I'd like to hear uh, what people think of this and if it's uh, accurate enough. This this looks more like the uh, the uh, season four Duncan rather than uh, than the seasons five to twelve Duncan. Uh, and although it is very high up off the chassis. Uh, sort of akin to the real life uh, Douglas or and or the, the Duncan illustration from the railway series But next item here, let's see. Oh We got Percy Now this, this I think the best part about this Percy is his face. I mean look at that that just has Percy written all over it yeah, that, that is the iconic Percy face. Uh, the six, six looks a bit different from any other form of of uh, Percy merchandise. Looks a bit more taller and thinner than anything else. Say, <laughs> even this uh, this subway collectible Percy has the more standardized six on it. Like, also, here's a wooden railway Percy. And, yeah, this is the only time I've seen the six printed like this. Maybe it was intentional, maybe it was just how, uh, however their, their printing system works. But, yeah, this is, this is a solid Percy. Yeah, a lot less space between the running board and um, and the sandboxes, you know, compared to Duncan over here, he's got a lot of space. Percy has minimal space. And you know, what? another thing that I like. See how Duncan looks way smaller than Percy. I like that. I don't know if it was intentional or not to make the narrow gauge engines look smaller than the standard gauge engines but it works and I like how this turns out the so next item let's see oh the tar tanker which is uh, st your stock standard tar tanker nothing too out of the ordinary I like the detail right there near the wheels uh, actually this is my second tar tanker this this was my first one that I got a couple of years ago. So now I'll have two tar tankers. Which, I don't know uh, what anybody else's collections of this brand has is like. Uh, if <laughs> anyone has one at all, I certainly haven't heard of anyone with a sizable collection of any of this. But, uh, we'll see. Yeah, comment down below if you know if you've got um, any of these items or you know anybody else that does. Right, let's see. Oh, here's. Oh, here he is. Here he is. George himself. I like I like this George. You know, uh, a lot of resemblance to the Ertl George. Uh, very well detailed. Uh, got a. Nice face. Um, this is more of a, a worried, concerned face. 
I uh, don't know what face they exactly were going for when modeling this. Uh, space in there. Maybe you could put a small figurine in there. If it was small enough. Uh, this front roller is really flexible and can roll, can rotate all around. Is pretty loose, which is a bit of a problem if you uh, want to drive it around. Might go all over the place. But other than that, this is a nice George. Okay. What do we have? This is Clarabelle. And you know what? One second. Let's see. Oh. Here. Here's Annie. Yeah. Just figured I'd take a look at them together. Yeah, and you know, very simplistic. I mean, there's not much you could do with Annie and Clarabelle. They're very simple design that every brand seems to have the same approach to. Very small wheels. A bit stiff, a bit stiff. Oh, and they also have years on them. I don't know if you can see that, but Clarabelle sells 2004. Annie says 2004 as well. I wonder if these are all 2004 and you just can't know which year they're actually from. Kind of like how Wooden Railway always puts, would put 2003 on their wheels post-2003. Yeah, Percy says 2004. Toby says 2004, yeah. I'm um, guessing all of them say 2004. Yeah, even the ones that I had gotten a while ago say 2004. But Annie and Clarabelle, yeah, they're, they're Annie and Clarabelle. Not much else to say. Let's see, what else? Ah. Another one that I'll have duplicate of. Troublesome truck. I like this face for the Troubles and Tucks. This has been uh, one of my favorite ones. Just so expressive. You know, how could you not like it? Uh, yeah, another th like Andy and Clarabelle, not much you could do uh, to make these different from any other uh, version of the Troubles and Trucks, although these for some reason have white buffers. Both of them have white buffers in which okay, this milk tanker milk tanker has white buffers but none of the other ones have white buffers I'll bring in these as well black buffers black buffers but yeah only a select number of rolling stock has white buffers and are they printed I'm just gonna look at this behind the camera. Yeah, they're printed on. They're not even stickers. They're actually uh, printed. So, <laughs> this is, yeah, that doesn't really tell us anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of them have white buffers. All right, next item, oh, of course, of course. We have the number one engine himself. This is also, this is a, like Percy, this is a solid Thomas. You know, really lightweight, but, you know, I like the face. This is a really nice Thomas face. Not one that um, a lot of uh, toy companies would actually use for Thomas. These, now these are very, these seem like they would be made back in the 1990s. 
but considering they were made in 2004, uh, when season eight was just coming out, these don't look like they're from their time. This looks like the season four Thomas face, which actually is one of my favorites. But yeah, you'd think they'd do, uh, you'd think they'd put the season seven or season six face on Thomas. But with Thomas and Duncan here, they both look like they were made um, back when season four just came out. So we might not know the reason for that. But overall, this Thomas, just taking another, another look at it. You know, I'm, I almost want to say something about it. I think Thomas's face and the smoke box and his boiler. Yeah, that's what it is. Thomas's face, smoke box, and boiler are too wide. Like, I think this is even showing it on the camera. But that is just a really wide boiler. And his face just looks too wide for his, uh, the width of his buffers. And all the other ones were looking pretty good, pretty accurate. And then, then you got Thomas, who they, they made extra wide for some reason. Well, uh, this, this doesn't kill the model. I think it's, it's still good. Still a good model. That's a that's a wide cab window there. Yeah, they got Thomas's proportions a bit off, but you know, still solid Thomas. Like I said. All right, let's see who's next. Ah, we have Rusty. This is a yeah. Now we're getting into. <laughs> the misconceived proportions because Rusty looks a bit looks a bit more tall than he should be. Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. But he look, looks like he should be a bit just a bit shorter. He's just a hair too tall. You know, I'll see him in size comparison to Duncan. Uh, oh <laughs> he is taller than Duncan. Rusty is taller than the tallest narrow gauge engine on the Scarlet Railway. That's that, that's strange. Let's see how it compares to yeah, just just under Percy's height. But yeah, they made Rusty too tall, uh, and he's. Relatively, you know, you can see in the show, he's very short. So, I don't know what was the reason for making him taller than Duncan. And it even, you know, it's even stated on the website and everything that Duncan is the tallest engine. So why that would make Rusty taller? Uh, let's see, let's see Duke. Was Rusty taller? Rusty's taller than Duke as well. Just by hair, but he is taller. Huh, that's strange. Uh, these details on the side, those are 3D, those are actually molded. Uh, this, uh, this round, I, you know, I, I feel ashamed to not remember what this is, <laughs> this round part is called. But, uh, but yeah, I can't remember what that's called. Looks a bit small, looks a bit too small than it, looks smaller than it should be. I think that just kind of cut the corner on that one, that piece. Let's see. He, uh... He has, uh... A face. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a fa he has a face. Uh, but what's even more interesting is the uh, position of his face. And you can see it's high up, and his radiator is shaped just like how it is in season four. Again, these look like they're taken off of photos from season four, like these three items right here. 
See, Thomas has a season four face. Rusty has a season four radiator. Duncan has a season four shape. I, I would have to bet that these were taken off of reference photos from season four or just images from season four. Which, again, is strange. And like, why four of all seasons? I mean, it, these were released in 2008. Season four was back in 1995. Uh, this just, this just gets uh, more and more interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the reason for, reasoning for that could be. Uh, but let's see. Ah. Oh, we have the other face, Troublesome Truck. So we, got, we have this one. And then, yeah, we got both. They call, the wiki calls them Naughty and Troublesome. I guess that's their official names for uh, just the, the different face, different faces on them. But yeah, I, I guess if you want to call them that, I've got Naughty and Troublesome right here. And I've got two of whatever this truck's name is supposed to be, this one's name. So we got three coal trucks. Yeah, I don't think, and these were all sold um, individually. These were all sold individually uh, in their their magazine packs. So uh, unless you got duplicates of the same magazine, you wouldn't really have uh, any duplicates of the same item. So this might be a first for a collector of these. Um, this one's color is supposed to be the same. It's just I can tell it's a bit sun bleached. And Clarabelle's roofs were a bit sun bleached as well. Uh, white buffers as well. Another one with white buffers on both sides. Interesting. Let's make some space for these. Let's see. What else? Okay. Okay. I can open both of these. Bill and, got Bill and Ben themselves. Yeah, these are quite big. Quite big for Bill and Ben, I'd say. Like they're even. Wow. <laughs> yep. Just by... May maybe. I, I'm, I don't know if they're taller or the same height as Percy. But they shouldn't be either of those things. They should be smaller than Percy, if anything. Uh... But yeah, yeah the dimensions are starting to, as we progress here, they're starting to get a bit wonky. Yeah, these are, yeah, they're a bit tall, but you know, I like these. They're, they're really highly detailed. These are uh, one of the most high, highly detailed models we've come across. Oh, this one's, uh, Bill's sticker's peeling off. Might have to put some glue on that. Nameplates and the SCCs are clear. Yeah, there there is a lot of detail on these. Even uh, the stripes and the pistons are even molded. Wheels are bigger than uh, Toby's. Uh, same size as Thomas and Percy. Uh, their faces stick out way too much. Like. I think anyone would notice that, you know, they know what Bill and Ben really look like. And, you know, I've even, here, I'll put, pull out this Ertl Ben right here. Yeah, and you, so you know their faces are relatively flat and, and, you know, they don't stick out that much from the body. So these, I don't know what really they were thinking. Also the faces. Faces look kind of like Bill and Ben. Don't know what photos they were going off. Uh, looks more like 
Well, it doesn't really look like anyone. <laughs> it just looks like... Yeah. I don't know. What's with the eyebrows? They're oddly... Oddly angled. Looks like... Bill, Ben, or Thomas, or Oliver combined. <laughs> like... He took Oliver... And Oliver... <laughs> Oliver is shorter than Bill and Ben. How does that work? <laughs> yeah, that's that's not right. Uh, but yeah, it looks like Oliver, Bill, Ben, Thomas, and perhaps Duck <laughs> uh, combined contribute to these faces. <laughs> uh, the Brendan Bay, Brendan Bay on Ben is a lot bolder than on Bill. Uh, I don't really know why that would be. I think is Ben, Ben is a, a, either Ben is a darker color when it was made before or after this Bill, or Bill is just sun bleached a bit, which is probably the more probable uh, explanation because a lot of the other ones are sun bleached as well. Um, that's cold detail going all the way through there. I like the buffer beams. I like how they the buffer beams are tall. I like how they did that. You know, they're they're okay. They're okay. Put them there. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is the last character. So we got Bill and Ben here. We got Annie and Clarabelle. Got Nadia in trouble some. I'd like to have Airy and Bert, but right now I'll just have to settle for Airy. I'll have to get Bert sometime later. Yeah, but, I mean, Bert was not even in uh, in this this lot. Uh, surprising that they uh, that they made the uh, part that's supposed to be green so black. I mean, it is black. I mean, I'm used to them being green, so I'm not even focusing. So uh, my Mine is kind of tricking me into thinking that's a really, really dark green, but I think that's just black. Yeah, that's just black. So maybe they took inspiration from Arian and Bert from season five, where you know they were only shown in, in the dark. Maybe, or they just somebody has some bad, uh, bad eyes and and misconceived the color. But yeah, they're. Uh, you know, minimalistic painted on detail. There's hardly any painted on detail. There's no solder ironworks across the side, which is strange, because all the other ones, like Bill and Ben, even got Brendan Bay across their front, but no solder ironworks on the side of Airy. And Okay, yeah. Moving on, let's see. One final thing here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably the highlight of the D. Agostini items here. I have to move them a bit further back because here is the station. Now, this is actually. Uh, might be the rarest out of them all because on the wiki you can find pictures of just about every item except the station and I mean individual uh, photos of, of the items uh, you can see the station in a picture on the wiki which was showing you what you can do when you got all of the, the magazines because the magazines if you get all the numbered issues you can get enough track and destinations to build a whole layout and this was only in that picture and it was only just in, in the background of that. So this might actually be the first individual picture of it. So right off the bat here, you can see it has striking similarities to the uh, Erdl dry Isle station. And it's basically a photocopy of it, but uh, I don't own that item. So I don't know what the size comparison is, if it's bigger, smaller, whatnot. Uh, but basically the dry Isle station, but with I think less detail, 
and um, some more molded elements. Uh, the platform is only slotted on one side. Station there. Green doors. For some reason, nothing on the back. But I like this because uh, I, I can see myself using this for sets, for just background uh, stations. Um, it's modeled after the Ellsbridge slash Dry Isle slash uh, Lower Ellsbra uh, station, or, or uh, Arles Del Land stations. Uh, but you could just use this for about any uh, tall building uh, if you just uh, find a way to have the station sign face away. Or you could just have it as some uh, random station, uh, whatever, whatever you wanted to do with it. So yeah, this is this is a good destination, you know, good destination. Obviously, in this collection of these, this range, the D'Agostini range, and just to have you know around as uh, set dressing. All right, so we're got we got just only a couple more items, but let's see. One of, oh, here's one. So this is actually all the D'Agostini items right here. This uh, put them all the front. Yeah, this is the entirety of what I got that was D'Agostini from the D'Agostini range. So uh, the, this seller in this lot was selling a bunch of different items. It was like the select. Uh, select each item uh, that, you, that you want. So I selected a lot, but they had a bunch of different uh, merchandise from different ranges. Uh, so Diagostini, they had some Trackmaster, some uh, Take Along, I think. Uh, none of the other stuff was really interesting to me. So, um, but except for a few of these items, which are the Earl Slate Truck. And uh, I, yeah, I only got one because they only had one. I got this because, let's see if it'll focus. I got this because uh, I've heard that this is rare, that this one is rare, at least I think. Uh, I've heard that this is rare. I don't know exactly how rare it is though. Somebody in the comments will have to tell me. Uh, but yeah, this is, I, I like this item, you know. You, rare or not, this is a nice item. It's more yellow than it is in the TV series or the railroad series. Uh, it's bent, it's bent a bit. Maybe it was like, stepped on or something, or maybe it doesn't look like it was made this way. Yeah, it looks like it was bent somehow. But you know, if you just look at it from the side, you know it. Doesn't really make a difference. Still runs. It still rolls fine. Uh, the cargo still fit in there. The slate cargo. Uh, find interesting because this it's quite tall. Oh, it's, camera's focusing on James's face in the background. Let's see if it. Yeah. Quite tall. Uh, and uh, this the slate the slate loads and the. Two series and the Roa series uh, isn't this tall usually, and it's just usually just almost above the, the top of the truck. So I don't know what the reason was for making it that tall, but yeah, this is just one of the, one of the slate trucks. Another thing I was going to get from this lot were the silly trucks, the little silly trucks, because I think at least I think they're rare. And I actually just only thought about this one, getting this one, and uh, I forgot about the other ones, the silly trucks. And so I wish that I'd gotten them. I could have gone back and gotten them separately, but you know, I just settled on settled on this one for in terms of rolling stock. I say in terms of rolling stock because the other items here, other items here, are a bit more exciting. Because here, right here, is none other than the Ertl Jack. Yep. 
Here is the Earl Jack, 2004 UK exclusive, sold for half a year, Jack. And the only pictures I'd seen for a while of Jack were uh, pictures on the wiki, which were actually pictures of the prototype. So this is my first time seeing the real model up close and personal. And this is a really good Ertl item. You know, I mean, I think it's unanimously agreed that all Ertl items are fantastic. But I think, uh, I mean, I take issue with uh, some of the items. I think they're, they could have been improved upon, could have been better. And I think other people could uh, chime in on that as well. Um, but this is a fantastic Ertl item. This is a fantastic Ertl item with all that, that detail. Uh, you know how much they made it look exactly like the prop. I mean this looks like a photocopy of the prop pretty much and uh, You can raise this bucket can tip it um, This is this just reminds me of like a, a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox type of vehicle uh, if, if anything uh, I think especially because of the wheels the wheels, instead of being cream colored, uh, like in the show, are silver for some reason. That makes it look like some something you get from like Hot Wheels or, or the uh, the John Deere Farming series. It's, it's, uh, it seems like something you you get with the the, the John Deere uh, diecast uh, farming toys, which will probably include a tractor or a trailer combine, maybe. But I'm just surprised that this is actually a, a genuine Ertl item. And uh, you know, not a lot of people, I don't know of anyone really who has any of this. Maybe Turtles and Thomas had this, because I know he had pretty much all of the 2004 uh, or UK exclusive Ertls. But this, this is just a fantastic Ertl item. And face, face is spot on Jack, as <laughs> Miss Jenny would say. And yeah, yeah, this is this is something I'm proud to have in my collection, definitely. And this, you know, I was saving these uh, for last because I thought it, I thought it unbelievable. Like I said, that I've, I think I hit the jackpot on eBay with these because I was in disbelief that I was actually able to manage acquiring these, uh, uh, mainly based on the quantity because. We have uh, we've got Earl Jack right here, and uh, if we got Earl Jack, then you know realistically we should have Earl Alfie. Yep, Earl Jack and Earl Alfie in the same picture in just <laughs> the train room. Of a lowly guy from Kentucky <laughs> who's making an unboxing video about them. Yep, that's what you call a first. <laughs> Definitely haven't seen it anywhere else myself. But yeah, this is Ertl Alfie. Uh, quite bigger than Jack, actually, surprisingly. A lot more sturdy, a lot, hev lot more heavy. This is a heavy item. And again, this looks, this is when Ertl was hitting their strong mark. Just when Ertl had discontinued the line, they made their last items, their last items were their best ones. Just when they were starting to get their best, they had to discontinue all their items and have these become just extremely, <laughs> stupidly rare. But yeah, I mean, look, he's, he's even got a, a hollow cap. Yeah, these are these is when Ertl, like I said, really went started to go all in. Uh, yeah, not the best condition for this this item, but you know I had to get it. And by the way, all these items right here, uh, they're all being sold for four bucks, four bucks a piece. So this is one of those rare runoff occurrences that you just happen to be on eBay at the right time at the right place, you see uh, something like this and you just say, yeah, 
Stars aligned, I, I have to get this. I'm not gonna wait. This is totally, <laughs> totally 100% worth it. So, what else can I say? Yeah, I mean, it's Alfie. Uh, again, not the best condition. I think this looks like it had been played with outside. Um, <laughs> uh, not, not too much surprise, because this is, I mean, it's a, he's an excavator, and what else would, would kids want to do with this? Uh, there's like a lot of dirt on the bottom. Axles are bent. I can just, uh, but you can re-bend them. You can bend them back. You just gotta be careful with it. I was able to do that with another Urtle item. Uh, but hopefully these will just bend back easily. I'll have to clean it up. Maybe do some touch up with some model paint on, uh, on Alfie and possibly Jack as well. Uh, the crane arm, it, well, it's crane arm is bucket. Bucket is a bit loose. Like it, it won't stand up. So maybe, doesn't look like you can get in anywhere and unscrew anything to tighten up some. Although he's, you can see here, he's on his chassis pretty loose. He's pretty loose on his chassis. So, he had to have gotten like that somehow, so maybe, maybe there's a way I can somehow get in there without damaging or anything. But, uh, yeah, another thing is he can't pivot or swivel on his chassis, which is something I was, I'm a bit surprised by, but, you know, this item has everything else that's great about it, and so it gets a pass for me there. And just when you thought we we're done with the the out of nowhere, surprisingly uh, rare one-off occurrence items. We got one more here. We've got one more, which uh, best be sitting for this, because Q Spencer Savine. It's Spencer. It's Ertl Spencer. Ertl Spencer, not one that you can come across that easily on eBay. Uh, out of the 2004 UK exclusive Ertl items. Uh, again, this is one of the items that doesn't even have really a clear picture on the, on the wiki, just kind of a far away picture. First time I've seen uh, an Ernest Spencer up close was on Charles and Thomas's video, uh, Pil Pilgrimage to Doncaster, when he used an Ernest Spencer. And ever since I saw that, I was intrigued by it, and I was really fascinated because this is a really, first of all, it's a fantastic looking model, and they nailed the look. Um, the tender, the tender is eight wheeled. Has an eight wheel tender. He has uh, the two trailing wheels and two uh, and four leading wheels. Got the correct number of wheels, everything, the tender. Fantastic detail on the tender. Um, even on top. Um, Got a nice nameplate, the face. They obviously nailed the face. They nailed the face. Yeah, that head on, I mean, this could pass as the, the prop from the show. But what was intriguing to me the most is how they made his boiler. Because you, as you can see, his boiler, Spencer's boiler, swells upward. Smell, uh, swells upward right there. It's kind of tapered the opposite way. I mean, this whole thing is slanting upwards and going down. And this is, and I find, find that intriguing. And I looked at pictures of Spencer's, like Spencer's prop, and that wasn't something that was really present on the Spencer's original prop. Uh, his boiler was more or less, you know, flat. Uh, definitely not as, as uh, rounded as this. Like as you can see, it's very curved, round, and it goes. Maybe that's just the placing of his 
railings on there, but it looks like it goes, uh, it swells outward there and up here, you know, coming to the front of the, the item. And just found that intriguing because, and then this is, his funnel is, sits way above his cab. Like if I were to get uh, something flat here, like a piece of wooden railway track, you can see there's a lot of space between his funnel and his cab, like it it, uh, it just uh, sw swells up in the front, way above um, where where his cab and the start of his boiler is, and don't really know what's the reason uh, that that was done, because um, like I said in the show, he didn't really have that, and I don't know if it was a choice that. They thought uh, it might look more real, might look more uh, accurate to an A4, to real life A4. Uh, I don't know. So, but I, I like the look of it though. You know, it makes it stand out, makes it look like they put, um, you know, all the more effort into it, makes it look more and more like um, an actual uh, model train, model engine, uh, which. Ertl basically is the same, uh, the, the closest thing you can get to that without it not being uh, an electric powered model engine. But nonetheless, I, you know, I, I'm making up theories about how why Spencer looks like this. But you know, I, uh, I, you know, the what the really the the elephant in the room here is that I actually was able to acquire this item for just. Uh, Oh, there, there we go. Hopefully, <laughs> for just the price of four bucks, along with along with everything else that um, that culminated into a uh, bigger price tag. But but again, I was able to find Spencer, Jack, and Alfie all on eBay at the same time, four bucks a piece. Now that is something that you just got to feel blessed with, because that almost never happens. It's almost like. Uh, Oliver Duck, Ted, with his two white face troublesome trucks that I found at a uh, garage sale for five dollars each. Like those are actually special moments. Like you might not know how rare of an occurrence that is, but if you're an avid collector like myself, you'll know that there is little to no chance of this happening except for these one-off rare occurrences. And you just gotta know that your luck was at good odds here, and that's really something to be proud of and not take for granted. So with that said, I'm gonna show. My other uh, uh, 2004 UK exclusive items because I didn't think I'd create a collection this big this soon. So here is Arthur Salty, which I got uh, both at the same time for Christmas a couple years ago, and Jock, um, which for some reason I found uh, for a reasonable price. Another one of those rare occurrences where I actually found. Uh, the rarest, one of the rarest Thomas Wooden Railway, uh, Thomas Wooden Railway, one of the rarest Thomas items out there that I didn't have to sell my house for. <laughs> but, yeah, this is really something that I'm, I've impressed myself with. So I really feel like I've, uh, leveled up in terms of Thomas collecting, because obviously this collection of, of Earl items, and also <laughs> this collection of this very niche, rare, almost unheard of Thomas merchandise brand. So I'm just gonna compile all we have here into one shot. So let's see how that looks. All right, well, I don't really even know what else I can even say now about this. I mean, it's one of those unbelievable moments that I'm just still a bit in disbelief that I was actually able to pull this off. <laughs> uh, uh, one, that I was able to find this. Um, second of all, for the price that I was finding it for, just one of those moments that you just have to be in the right place at the right time, not searching for anything in particular. It's just those things that you just happen to come upon, that not when not when you're expecting it, and they just cut get you catch you off guard, and all you can do is, is jump on it before anybody else does. So, uh, if you got a comment. Uh, on what do you think of this? Uh, obviously, leave it down below. I've got an answer to any of the questions I was posting in this video, like how what's the rarity 
of some of these items. Uh, and anything else, just, of course, let me know what you think.